Hi everybody, I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Good morning. Actually, it's like almost two o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. And we just uh, did our giveaway, that file folder. So that was fun. Jeanette, you need to get a hold of me, girl. Get a hold of me. So I am, as you know, in the throes of moving. Here's my proof. Hold on. Oh, maybe. Maybe I can do it. No. Maybe. Can you see them, the boxes? Oh, they go clear out in the hall. Hi! <laughs> so, but while I was moving, I found my fiber dyeing. Hold on, let me get you straight. Okay, my uh, fiber dyeing book, and there is no reason why this wouldn't work for paper. This is such a fabulous book by Jenny Dean. It's, um, gosh, I've had this a long, long time. Um, Don't know when it was published. Let's just get right into it. I don't know when it was published, but if you if you Amazon it, I'm sure it's Jenny Dean Karen Diatic Castleman was a consultant. It's the Wild Color, the complete guide to making and using natural dyes. I use this book for dyeing fiber, like wool and things. And I have also used this book when I make uh, soaps, lye soaps, goat milk soaps, those kinds of things. So I know it will work with paper. Um, look at this, you guys, look. So these are, this book and it's it's been well used and it got wet, so it's a, mine's a little tattered. But um, this book, the reason I like it is because I am a visual person. So if you just give me a book that reads all about how to do it, I, I'm never going to get it done. But this book is so visual. It shows you the herbs, tools what the water bath is going to look like, all of the safety stuff you need. And then it, each plant, it will show you like different colors with the same uh, mordants or the same combinations or different. And it'll show you gauged. These are animal fibers versus veg. Like this is cotton. This is probably alpaca. This is maybe silk. I don't know. <clears throat> See, and this shows you just how long when you leave them in the difference in color with the same fabrics. And as a bookmaker and journal maker, I mean, gosh, you know, there's a lot more than tea and coffee and avocado. I can tell you that. If you have rhubarb in your yard, it shows how to do that. And um, I would recommend, I would strongly recommend that you do this in a well-ventilated room or better yet outside. Honestly, some of these, uh, like the copper and stuff like that, you don't wanna breathe it. You just don't. But I've, I've used a lot of what's in this book. Um, I think, isn't the, is this choke cherries? Hmm might be beets oh no this might be the the um 
what was the plan I just said? Rhubarb? That might be what that is. That red. But if you're looking, if you're bored with coffee and tea, I mean, look at those flowers. You could do that with paper. I know you can. I'm sure some are, you know, more tough on the paper than others. But here's your color palette. This te teaches you about how to modify with different mordants like acidic modifiers and alkaline, copper, iron. And by iron, you know, you can use a nail. Look at all those colors. Onions, hollyhocks. What I would do is all summer and mostly in the fall, I would pick all my deadhead, all my flowers, especially marigolds. Marigolds are so good for so many things. And they just make the... Sorry guys, my battery's about to die. They make the prettiest um, colors. And yarrow, I mean, we have that growing on our ditch bank. Farmers don't care if you pick it. There's the hollyhocks. Onion skins, alder, birch. A lot of the barks that are common. Here's some pear leaves, oak leaves, pomegranates. Daffodils. Henna. Woad, which is a, a bad plant here, so we're not supposed to ever pick it, but we do. Some people do. St. John's wort, hibiscus, eucalyptus, hawthorn. So anyway, I wanted to show you that, and my battery's getting low. It's flashing at me again, so I just really quick want to show you this, because then I'm going to pack, because I'm not going to be able to use some of this stuff. I did a little... A little shopping. Hold on, hold on. I did a little shopping. So this is from, oh, this is from Wintertime Crafts. I really wanted to show you guys this. I can't wait to use it. I've already packed up my um, my Sizzix, my Big Shot, um, but I, I want to use this so bad. And look, she gave me a little Tree of Life charm, Isn't that sweet? Okay, oh, so this is just a little sample of the paper that she sells because this is actually a stamp die. It's called cut and tear die. And it puts little uh, perforations so they look like stamps. And then she sells the paper that goes with it. I saw this on uh, Gail Augustinelli. Isn't that cool? Wintertime crafts. Yeah, really, really neat site. How much was that thing? Oh, it was uh, $14.90. Cool, huh? Anyway, I thought that was cool. I wanted to show you guys. And I gotta pack all my dyes away. Ugh! But I'm, I'm packing a little suitcase. And then I went to Glitter Dust Designs. And I don't, I don't have any, um, uh, not cardboard. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, blah, blah. Can't think of what it's called chipboard yeah so and I really want to make a steampunk journal and a shabby chic journal so I went and got went my had myself a little shop um let's see this one goes with this one Isn't that cute? That's a really cute card. 
It's Tara mm, Plummery. That's who this is from. Glitter Dust Designs. Yeah, I like the way it was packed. Yeah. So I'm going to pack that away when I get to the new house and I finally get to be able to work on putting a craft room together. This will be fun because I, I want to put together a steampunk journal. I was hoping to have that done by Christmas, but that's not going to happen. What else was it? It was a couple, three things. Oh, the baby journal. I haven't totally forgot her. I have these little stickers and I put a little sticker in her head. I did um, turn these pages into pockets um, and I did a video on that. Should be posted. If not, it will be probably at the same time you see this. I did distress things and I put together the signature. I think this is the signature. Now I'm deciding, do I want to decorate the signature before I put it in? And I can't, I had just haven't decided. So besides that, it's, it's the same. There's not been a lot of change, but I did get that signature done. Okay, guys, thanks for all the well wishes with my move. It's a wreck down here. It even sounds hollow. I filled up my glue so I could take my glue. <laughs> oh, Joanne's has, that was the other thing. Joanne's has a big bottle of Fabri-Tac on sale for $9.99. And be careful. I bought two bottles. Where are they? I think I put them away. Oh, no, here they are. I bought two bottles. And when I got them home... These were missing, the little foam cover, and they were bubbled, and they were down to about right there. Each of them were. So I took them back, and she had some still there that were bubbled. And um, so be careful if you're buying um, old glue or whatever, because, yeah, that's never happened, but... It happened to me today. Okay, that was it. Those three things. Happy crafting, you guys. Thanks for all the well wishes. Let's take care of each other. 